Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to download mods for Hearts of Iron 4, specifically the Millennium Dawn mod, because I heard so many people that face problems with this specific mod, the Millennium Dawn mod, uh, especially for the free version of the game, the version that doesn't require Steam or the Paradox Workshop. So in this video, I'm going to help you to download the mod, the latest version of the mod, to the Hearts of Iron 4 game. Okay. So, first of all, we go to the Chrome, okay, we go to, uh, now we have two mod sites for this one. The first one is Top Mods, Top Mods 24, you can click, I will uh, put a link in the description. And the second one is Sky Mods, Sky Mods 24, um, although it is Russian, but uh, no offense, it is good, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I love uh, Russians. Anyways. So, uh, both of these sites you can use to download any mod. Um, to be honest, I prefer top mods because uh, it will get updated faster here. Like, once the mod is updated, you'll find it here as, uh, yeah, as soon as it is updated. Faster than this one. So, we go to top mods and we click Millennium Dawn. Okay. This is the mod. This is Millennium Dawn mod. We click on it. You can find that this is the latest version of this mod. Uh, it is updated. I don't know what is updated. Thirteenth um, of March. I think it is the last the last update. Yeah. So, anyways, we go down to this one. We wait until it finishes. So. Uh, these sites I usually use just for the, the free version of the game. Don't use if you have Steam or uh, the official game. Don't use, you don't have to use that. You can just download it from Steam. But this video is just for the people who can't get the game from Steam. The poor people, just like me. <laughs> yes, anyways, we go to download. Okay. We click generate link. Download link, download. And we finish until the, the we, we, we finish. We wait until the download is finished. So because I already have the mod downloaded, I'll just cancel it and go straight to my files. Here it is. This is the file that will be downloaded. It will be compressed, so you'll need to unzip it. Click extract all and click extract. I'll not click because I already have it. So once you click extract, another file will show up. This one, the unzipped file. So you go in here. Now, this is where the, the trick comes in. This is where most people face issue with. Now, most mods, when you download it, you'll get two files. Like, the file folder will have numbers on it, and the mod folder also, mod folder also has numbers on it. But in the Millennium Dawn mod case, you have the, the, the name. You don't have numbers here. So it is okay, no problem. No, you are... You, you, you are following the steps correctly, don't worry about it. Uh, about this mod, just forget it, forget about this file. We need to copy only these two files, okay? Now, we go to Documents, we go to Paradox Interactive. Now, if you don't have this file, you need to launch the game for the first time, probably because you, uh, you haven't launched the game. You maybe downloaded it, but you haven't launched it, so you need to launch it. Launch it, okay? Yeah, so... We go to Paradox Interactive, Hearts of Iron 4. Now here, we need to create two files. The first file is going to be called Mod, and the second one is going to be called Workshop. Okay? So inside Workshop, we need to create a new file, which is Content. Inside Content, we need to create another new file, which is a number. I will just copy the number here, but because the video will stop, just one second. Okay, yeah, sorry about it. Uh, the name file is 281990. Okay, now copy both of the files here in this file, the num the, the, this one, and also in the mod file. You will paste in both of them. I'll wait for the paste finishes and I'll come back to you. Okay, so once the copying is done, 
Now we go to the to the to the to the to the to the game file. I need to go to the browser. Okay, so I go to this PC. My game is in here. I forgot where it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In downloads. Okay, so I go to my game files and I go to browser. This file. Okay. I open it. Uh, we'll just say ignore. Okay. No problem. Okay, so here I need to add a new playlist. I click add a new playlist. Now, to get this one to be able to add a new playlist for mods, you need to launch the game for the first time. Okay, so after you launch the game for the first time, we come here, click on this, we click add new playset. Okay, I'll name this Millennium Dawn. Fix. And click create, and here I will click add mods. This is the modern day mod, the Millennium Dome. I will click on it and click Add to Playset. Okay. Now, this playset here is the Millennium Dome one. If I want the No Mods one, I'll just click on this one. If I want the Millennium Dome again, I'll just click on this one. If I want to create one, another one, just add a new playset. Okay. And I'll click Play and see how this goes. As you can see, it works. It works. It's just a simple issue that you faced while you downloaded the mod and you copied the files. Uh, hopefully, it launches without no errors, and uh, I'm pretty sure it will launch. So, no problem. Okay, so the mod is the mod is launching fine, no problem. Um, and it, <laughs> yeah, anyways, okay. So the mod is fine, it's launching, no problems. I'll uh, start a new game, January first. I'll pick um, anything German. Okay, start. And it's working right. fine. Everything is working fine. And uh, yeah, this is how you fix the issue for the Millennium Dawn mod for the version of Heart Survival 4. If you face any other issue, if you want me to upload any video of any kind for Heart Survival or whatever, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll be happy to upload it. And uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you.